Hey everybody, Josiah here with EasyCaters.com. Today I just wanted to do a quick update on the big levels indicator. Now this is the indicator that plots higher time frame uh, levels from, you know, say the, the open, the close, the low, the high, VWAP, uh, a midpoint, any of those types of levels, you can plot those from a higher time frame onto a lower time frame chart. So say I like to trade on a daily chart, and um, so here I am on a daily chart, and I want to see what the important levels from perhaps the last month or the current month or two months ago. Um, you know, I can I could plot three weeks ago. I can plot weekly levels from you know last week, this week, you know any any number of weeks back, any number of periods back on any of these time frames. Um, so, you know, but say I want to look at the monthly. So here is an example of plotting last month's levels on the current month's chart. So it's, you know, it's showing on the current month, it's showing last month's levels. And you can see that it looks like last month's high is kind of acting as a little bit of a, uh, a support level here. And uh, we'll see if it holds on the spy. But anyway, so uh, this is what it does. Now there's several different presentation styles, but um, if we go in here into settings, I can uh, give you an idea how that works and just kind of walk through what the current features are, current uh, functions and uh, all the different settings and how those work. And um, then I want to show you the newest version of this. So I've made some updates to the original. I've also released a new version of the indicator that kind of gives a slightly different presentation style and may be uh, more suitable for some of you. Um, so I'm just trying to, uh, you know, update the indicator for basically as many different types of trading situations that uh, people find themselves in, different types of trading that everybody does. So um, there's, there's now going to be two indicators that come with the package and you'll be able to choose which one you like best. So here in the original, I'm looking at a monthly time frame. So you can see here, this is the monthly time frame levels. I've set it to one month back. So if I set this to zero, that would plot the current month's uh, high and low and open and close and so forth uh, on the current month. Uh, and again, if I set it back to two months, then it's looking at two months ago and it's saying, okay, let's plot those levels on this current time frame. Um, now, I have the show last period only setting turned to yes, so it's only showing the, uh, the last period here. But if I turn this to no, then it will just show all the all of the um, two months ago levels as they developed on the chart. Uh, and one quick side note, all of these settings have a little question mark tooltip hint here that will explain and answer most questions about how it works. So be sure to check that out if you get stuck or have a question or something. Just make sure you read that little description and make sure you know what it does. Uh, and if you get stuck, we always are available via email anyway, but uh, that usually answers most questions. And then, uh, so you can also show a candle cloud, which is essentially just showing the, um, uh, the movement direction of the uh, the higher time frame candle. So you can see here if I put it back to zero for the current month. So this was last month here, and the price opened the month at this level, traded down just a tiny bit, and then traded all the way up to this high, pulled back, and then closed at this closing point here. So this was a green monthly candle. And so it's, this just gives you a quick visual sh telling you that the month was a green or a red uh, month. And it plots that green between the open and the close, just like you would expect on a normal candle. Um, and so that's how that works. Uh, it, if you put it uh, backward in time, this is where it gets a little confusing. But what this is showing you is this month as the price traded down, uh, we're looking at one month in the past, so it's plotting that month uh, on the on this month here. So it's just a little bit 
uh, more confusing that way, but this allows you to see the levels and trade off of the levels that have already been established and uh, use them in your current trading as the, the chart continues to develop. So like this candle or this these levels here come from this, this movement that happened through here. And so we're trading based on the, that prior movement and those levels that were established back then. Uh, and we're trading based on that in the current time frame. And so that was a green candle and so forth. So that's how that works. So that's the candle cloud feature. You can turn that on or off it as needed. You could turn the bubbles, these little uh, balloons or labels that uh, remind you what each level means. You can turn those off. Uh, some people like to have those for a quick reference. Other people like to try to keep their chart as uncluttered as possible, so they turn them off. And uh, you can use, you know, different color combinations, line styles, line thicknesses, and so forth to try to differentiate these lines so that you know at a quick glance what each one does. So you can see here I always put the high is green, the low is red. The open is blue and the close is orange, and then I have BWAP as yellow and the midpoint as gray. So that way I always know what these are. Um, so you can do that or you can use the bubbles for a quick reference as well. Uh, for the bubbles, there's a new feature where you can set an offset. So if you don't want them right on the last candle or bar of the chart, you can set them back a few uh, candles and get them out of your way a little bit. So you can see how that works in that. It looks like I put them back onto the prior month. Let me see what that looks like here. There we go. So, so that's what that would look like if you wanted to plot the, the bubbles uh, a few days in the past to get them out off of the right side of the chart so you can see what you're doing a little better. So that's how that works. Um, you can change what the text shows in each of those bubbles by just typing in whatever you want it to say here. If you don't like it to say the full word, if you just want to say O for open, then you can just change that there and it will uh, modify it. Let me just turn those bubbles back on so you can see it. So you can see here at the O, uh, the open has changed to O instead of uh, open. So that's how that works. Uh, and I can change it back here. And my computer's going a little slow because of the video. So there you go. So that's how that works. Um, then you can turn any of the lines on or off with these little drop downs. And these will also turn off the bubbles if you have those on. So if I turn off the high line here, you can see it turned off the line and the bubble at the same time. Um, and so that works for any of the levels. And then you can also dial in if you you know this is mostly here just for people who like to play around with different settings but uh, the price midpoint is the main one I think anybody would want to change uh, you can adjust what price uh, each of these levels is derived from and but the midpoint it's by default it's high low two high plus low divided by two you can change it to high, low, close divided by three or open, high, low, close divided by four. Uh, you can change it to anything in here that you want, any of the prices that Thinkorswim provides. But uh, I just wanted to open those up. So I like keeping everything as customizable as possible. I think the midpoint is the only one anybody would ever want to change, though. Uh, VWAP, um, so that's the other price point. Um, and then alerts, you can turn alerts to several different settings here, depending on what type of uh, alert you want. Um, you know, if you can have an alert for all the levels being touched or crossed by the closing price, uh, the last traded price. Uh, you can have, you know, just three of the levels, et cetera, you know, or individual levels down here. Uh, down here in the plot section, you can customize all the line styles. Uh, you can customize the thicknesses and so forth. And of course the color. So that's how that works. Um, now let's see the uh, the alerts allow you to kind of hone in each uh, setting for these. So you can individually turn off the alerts here. You can also change the text that's shown up in Message Center when an alert happens. You can change the sound that it plays. Um, 
and again, you can turn on, on or off all the alerts here, or you can just turn them off individually with this checkbox. Then the globals, uh, this is just for the specific colors that are used for uh, the candle cloud that I showed you earlier that just kind of shades the background. Uh, and then the bubbles, these uh, speech balloons or labels that are used for the lines, you can change the colors for each of those to match the lines. So uh, hopefully that helps uh, uh, kind of give you a quick overview of the, the changes and features for the uh, updated original big levels indicator. Now I wanted to show you the uh, change that we've made and the additional script that you'll get with the big levels package. So you can see here one and two. I'm going to add two to my chart. And so this one behaves a little bit differently. This uh, is for people that don't want to see all the historical levels and they don't want just the short levels shown on the, the last period of the chart. They want it to be stretched across the whole chart. Uh, a little bit more like the drawing tool, which uh, as you know, on the drawing tool, if we pull that up here and draw a horizontal line, uh, it stretches all the way across the screen. So you can set this one to do essentially the same thing. Uh, you can set the length of the line here to be any length you want, 150 bars or um, you know whatever length of chart that you typically use, uh, 175. So that goes about across all the way across my screen. So I can set that however I want it, and um, then I can choose my time frame just like in the old indicator. Set the offset so. Uh, Currently, it's looking at the current week's levels. Uh, I'll tell it to look at last week's levels. So that looks at last week's levels. Let's look at last month's levels. So that's what that looks like. And we'll just switch it back to the current month. So that's what that looks like. So uh, again, you can customize it in all the same ways. Uh, the big difference here is the lines can stretch however long you want and the balloons or bubbles are going to be on the left side of the plot so that uh, they get them out of your way uh, you know from the most recent price action kind of cleans up your chart a little bit you still have each of the prices over here in bubbles so you can see where each of them are exactly uh, and then you can see the label showing you uh, exactly what that level is or what it means um, down here, you have all the same settings. You can turn on or off any of the lines. Uh, and again, there's little, oh, my computer again is acting up because of this um, video program here. But anyway, so you can, you can uh, click these little question marks to get little tool tips or hints to tell you what each setting does. Um, this one will have a candle cloud as well, so you can see what that looks like. Um, you can change the text that goes in each of these labels or balloons. Um, choose again the price types and if you want to customize that midpoint from the high low two to one of the other uh, high low close three, uh, open high low close four, you can do that. Um, let's see here, then we've got high alert, low alert, so you have alerts for when close crosses any of those lines, you can turn those on or off here. And you can customize those further down here in the alerts sub panel, which uh, has a different tab for each of the different alerts there. And you can change the text, the sound, turn it on or off individually there, and so forth. Um, this will allow you to change the candle color, uh, the balloon colors as in the uh, original indicator. And then, of course, in the plot section, you can change the plot style, um, line thickness, color, and so forth. So very much the same, but just kind of a different uh, presentation strategy for those of you that prefer this type of look instead. And uh, this you'll for, for the uh, when you purchase the big levels indicator, you'll get both of them. Um, and so you can play around with them and choose which one that you like the, the best, which one you prefer. And um, as always, updates on my site are always free. 
uh, to people that have purchased in the past. So anyone who's used the big levels indicator in the past, just log back into the website. You'll have automatic access. Just go to orders, view order details in, my, in the My Account area of the site. Um, and so hopefully these will be useful to you guys and uh, save some time for you plotting lines and so forth every day. And uh, hope that helps. And we will talk to you later. Thanks.